What's all the buzz about? This dude in Hillside, New Jersey was having a bee problem for a while. To solve it, he brought in a bee-spoke specialist in the form of Mickey the Beekeeper late last month. They found something unbelievable inside the walls of his house in the form of 30,000 bees and 40 pounds of honey. But these were the sorts of bugs you could not befriend. They're reportedly some mad aggro close to that of killer bees, which is such a buzzkill because look at all that honey. But that's besides the point. All 30,000 had to buzz off after being evicted from the house during a single night, but not before stinging the beekeeper nearly 40 times. They were relocated to a local church that lost its beehive in the summer. Now, how's that for a beautiful ending? Behave yourself. Oh, dude. Should have just called a professional. A homeowner in Georgia probably thought he was pretty smart last week. Hey, I'll burn them bees out of that hive. Yeah! I mean, overall, it was a good concept, but poor execution. Because he also kind of like burned most of his house down. Huh, that'll teach those bees. In an attempt to get rid of the beehive he found near the roof of his house, the unnamed homeowner decided to poke the thing with a stick he'd set aflame. But guess what? As soon as the man began to execute his awesome plan, he accidentally, literally, set the roof on fire. The flames quickly burned down the attic and the majority of the structure, and in a matter of smoky seconds, poof, it was gone. Yep, bye-bye house. Firefighters later put the fire out, and luckily no human injuries were reported. But we do imagine the guy learned at least one lesson. Next time you see a beehive, it's a lot cheaper to call an exterminator. Robot bees are creating a buzz. Scientists in Japan have built a robot bee designed to help ease the burden of pollination duties amid a dwindling bee population. The robot bee is a tiny drone covered in horse hair that mimics the fuzzy body of a real bee and coated with an ionic liquid gel. In laboratory conditions, the remotely controlled drone has successfully absorbed pollen from a lily petal and artificially pollinated a second flower. Scientists do not think robot bees can replace real bees, but see them as a supplementary aid for pollination, which is essential for growing many crops. Here's some news that won't give you a buzz. Popular pesticides used on common crops prevent bees from laying eggs and could eventually cause bee populations to die out. That would be a disaster for us humans because we rely on bees to pollinate much of our food. A group of pesticides known as neonicotinoids are used on some of the most commonly grown crops in the US, including corn, soybean, and canola. According to a study in the UK, the neonicotinoid thiamethoxam is harmful to bee populations. The study showed that in laboratory conditions, bumblebee queens exposed to the pesticide were 26% less likely to lay eggs. However, the study said that other factors in the wild, such as the loss of wild flowers, parasites, or climate change may also have a harmful impact on bee populations. Without queen bees laying eggs, there would be no bee colonies, so the results of the study are likely to lead to further calls to restrict the use of pesticides. Neonicotinoids were temporarily banned in the European Union in 2013, and the EU may now decide to make that ban permanent 